We better all eat this thing. This is basically like $150 worth of this fish. <laughs> My name is John Yao from Cato Restaurant, and today we're gonna to be doing steam fish. It was like the first dish at the restaurant that we really um, leaned into our heritage. I always watched my mom make it. This was like one of my favorite things to eat growing up. In terms of ambition and excellence, Cato is a perfect LA story. The restaurant opened in early 2022, but Cato came into being when Yao's parents helped him open a place in this tiny, awkward space around Sautel in 2016. At first, Yao was making dishes that pulled ideas from Japanese, Korean, and Vietnamese repertoires. He wasn't even 25 then. But as he started settling into himself as a chef, he felt a calling to focus on the Taiwanese flavors. You kind of like look to the high end, like all the fine dining restaurants are either French or Italian. And that's just kind of like your North Star. You just think it's like the highest point. A few years into the old space, I just kind of wanted my own heritage to be valued the same. When he started re-envisioning things like beef noodle soup and three cup chicken through his own singular creative lens, he really came into his greatness. That was the point where we got a lot better too, where we had a more like clear understanding of our identity. He riffs off of dishes like fragrant fish stir fry and pineapple bao and the taro puffs you'd find at dim sum. And he turns them into these beautiful, delicious meditations on a plate. Cato in the Row DTLA complex in downtown's arts district is the beautifully realized dream of Yao, who serves multi-course dinners built around the foods he grew up eating in the San Gabriel Valley. I think Cato is like a combination of like Southern California, like San Gabriel Valley and like my upbringing and my mom's cooking. My mom's my number one inspiration. Oftentimes I find myself trying to recreate something my mom made just to find out it's, um, it's something only she makes. So I guess if you examine is like kind of like how, how like diaspora works, right? It's like once or twice removed from the source, but like the extra layer is my mom interpreting the food. My mom came to the States at a young age, like I think like 26. So she didn't really get a chance to learn how to cook in the environment she grew up in. I really like the tile fish. I think just going from sourcing to like method of cooking, we um, scald scale on tile fish. So it crisps up the scale. And then we grill the underside to finish it. We get whole fish in um, twice a week from Japan, and then we usually process it. Once it gets to this point, we um, soak it in um, a saline solution, and then we'll let it air dry overnight. And then the next day, we, um, we wrap it in um, we call it fish paper, but it just kind of keeps it dry and then we'll saran wrap it. And then depending on the size of the fish, the type of fish, it um, ages in the fridge for X amount of time.
at the restaurant, like we basically yield this bone and then this fish. And then um, I brought a sample today. Right now, our, the fish on our menu is um, tilefish. So these are tilefish bones, but we'll basically like boil them and then wash them like really carefully with like a pressure wash and then we'll yield this. And then over the course of an hour, we steep this with ginger and rice wine and we make a tea. I always watched my, like my mom make it. I don't think I realized like the value of my heritage until like, obviously like you're away from your family and like um, my grandparents aren't here with us anymore. So you don't really start to value it until it's like too late kind of. So I'm just pitting the fish right now and then I'm gonna cure it in salt. And you don't usually cure it. You're supposed to serve it as close to live as possible. So this is just grapeseed oil. The texture of it is great, but it's also like, it doesn't taste like anything. So we're gonna heat that. After you get the bones clean and you um, steep it, you get, it looks like water, but it's very strong in like a fish flavor. This is similar to like the type of relish you'd get at, um, when you're having like Cantonese barbecue. So this is called Tokyo Negi. We work really closely with a farm called Girl and Doug and they grow a lot of stuff for us. It's kind of like scallion, but it's sweeter and it's like larger. This is just ginger that um, is super, super finely minced. So you don't really get any of the fibers or anything. This is a little bit of sea salt. This is a bit of MSG. And then once that oil comes up, we're just gonna scald it. So after we make the bone broth, we basically season it with um, a soy that we bring in from Taiwan. It's cooked over a live fire um, midway through its aging process. And they add a bit of anise and sugar into it. But we've been trying to expand our Taiwanese pantry, but this is it in case, I don't think you can find it in stores, but we bring this in from Taiwan. This will probably take like seven minutes. So this is that same type of green onion that was in the relish earlier, but this is just cut into um, like strings basically. This is cilantro flour, which is great at the market right now. And this is Delfino cilantro. Ginger. put some of this oil that's already flavored in. Some of this soy sauce. My parents were super busy when I was growing up, but um, no matter how late, my mom always made it a point to um, cook like a full meal. In Mandarin, it's called san cai itang, which is like three dishes and one soup. And she always, she pretty much always hit that. Watching how my parents were growing up, like I really wanna make sure like number one, people are like nourished and satiated and that people feel like the food was like made with love. We're executing a vision where it requires certain resources from us, from the diner to like, curate a very specific evening for everyone. We always try to challenge ourselves, whether it's improving a method or improving how we source something. We're doing fine dining to like prove that like, like this type of Eastern cuisine and tradition can be um, on the same level as like Western culture. There it is. Steamed black throat sea perch with um, ginger and Tokyo Negi. Mm -hmm. 